Legendary Flying Nun record label. Earlier this year, Flying Nun celebrated its 15th birthday. The Clean didn't get that chance, disbanding back in the 80s, but it still can surprise. You know how certain pieces of music remind you of a particular time in your life? Well, when I was a spotted herbert picking up a completely irrelevant university education in the South Island, there was one piece of music that seemed to be on everybody's turntable. It wasn't a new song, but it was a classic. It was the kind of song that really stuck in your head, a kind of jingly jangly song. Tally Ho, in the early 80s, the epitome of the flying nun sound. They were the band that started it all, but the clean were also the band that finished it quickly officially splitting in 1984. We got sick of the pressure of having to deliver all the time. And a little bit of that myth, the clean myth, it was, you know, at the time perhaps that was a bit boring. So it was quite good to destroy that at the time. The clean myth? Well, this, you know, band that, you know, started different things and helped launch a label and all that sort of thing and having to deliver that sort of, you know, a guitar rock thing every night got a bit boring. Right now, David Kilgour is recording a new solo album. But occasionally he finds himself with brother Hamish and Robert Scott long enough to make more clean music, such as this year's new album, Unknown Country. Three million people can be wrong. Three million people can be wrong. On a 90s clean album, you'll hear a lot more than just guitars and drums. Unknown Country has everything from a thumb piano to a mandolin to a Crow theremin, which I think is something that goes whoop. Squashing all the soft. I mean, it does get boring having a guitar and drums and a bass. It does get boring mm -hmm. working with that all the time. There's only so much you can do with it. So that's the reason, really, just looking for something different. So what, you go out and you say, we're going to put a gazoo in this? Or... Yes, or this LP will be the sitar LP or the mellotron LP or whatever. You'll yeah, just get some new toys in each time. Gilgour's third solo efforts due out in March, but does a man whose band tossed it away just when it might have got big ever think about what could have been? I would have liked to have been a millionaire overnight, I think, when I was about 17. The strange things happen, I do. I think what all us old guys seem to say now, the dream would, would always have, have, has always been, and probably still is, that maybe someone will cover your song or your song will be used in an insanely successful movie mm. and you will make a million dollars but I mean it's still on the cards you know. <laughs> so if you happen to be a movie producer in search of a soundtrack look no further than here of course there's this other catchy little number you might like as well yeah that one's my favorite well